Welcome to Biz Alchemy, a podcast about creating a new business paradigm by women for women. I'm your alchemical host, Jacqueline Atkins, and I'm going to take you on an extraordinary adventure to create a business filled with ease, fun, spaciousness, and abundance. Hustle, be gone. Let's birth a new way. Welcome back. Oh my God, what a week it's been since I last spoke with you uh, last week. As you know, if you had a listen to episode 63, I chatted about what is my yin week in business. And uh, I talked about the flooding that's been going on in our area or that was happening actually on the day I was recording. Well, it ended up causing chaos to the area I live in and it's still causing chaos and a lot of devastation and heartache and uh one of the effects of the flooding was that we didn't have internet all week. Uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll go into that a little bit more in in, uh, in a minute. But it made me realize the importance of chatting with you about the cycles of business. I mean, I touched on the cycles last week by talking about my yin week because I was talking about the yin and the yang in business, which is a part of the cycle of business. Uh, even though we don't always allow that cycle to occur in our businesses. But cycles are an integral component of the new business paradigm. And I talked about this way back at the beginning of my podcast in episode seven as a part of the H in the beach philosophy, the harmony. And I talked about the yin and the yang and the cycle of the yin and the yang in that. But I felt it was time to revisit it in a way that I'm not specifically referring to the yin and yang, although I will because it is a part of the cycle, but just to bring your awareness to the fact that everything is a cycle. So when it comes to business, we can use predictable cycles like the moon, as I talked about last week, where I have my yin week leading up to the new moon. And this can give us a very helpful reference to the energies available to us and how we can organize our tasks in our business so that we are best supported by those energies. But it's important to also acknowledge that there are other cycles that we have personal cycles energetically. And of course, if you are still menstruating, this is a part of one of those cycles. But we also have different hormonal cycles. We also go through a cycle in response to our environment. And so for me last week, this is what I realized. I'd created my yin week. It was a perfect week. I had planned on creating during that week, but I ended up with an energy around me because of the grief and the despair, the loss, the cleansing, which was in my community, it created an an energy that actually was not conducive to me creating. In fact, it was much more of a cleansing and a letting go energy. And I found I couldn't work last week, not only because uh, internet was so limited, but I wasn't inspired. And if there's one thing you'll know about me, it's I take inspired action. The cycle was not there. The cycle of inspiration was not there for me. The cycle of creativity was not there for me. My, uh, the outer world, my inner world was going to reflect what was going on there in the outer world. And the outer world was saying to me, cleanse, let go, destroy, like even more than cleanse, it was destructive. There was so much destruction and loss. And so my internal world was also going through that. But putting it into the context of what I'm talking about today, it's acknowledging that that, like all of nature, like all of life, is a cycle. And the important thing is to not fight that stage of the cycle. The earth experienced a massive cleansing and we are of the earth. So those of us in the vicinity of this cleansing also experience this internal cleansing. And of course, if you're aware of energy, recognizing that what happens in one area is also being done for all. And uh, so at some level, there was a massive letting go happening. And a lot of that letting go was around the material. 
and realizing what's truly important and the bonding that came together in the community, the support that came together in the community because the government gave minimal support. And so it was up to the community to come and be there for each other, rescue each other, provide food and water and shelter and all those base chakra things for each other. All of this was going on in my outer world last week. So the cycle I had intended did not eventuate. It wasn't the cycle that I ended up experiencing. And I could have forced it. I could have said, this is my yin week. This is my week to create. I've got this and this and this that I was really hoping to be inspired to create this week. (laughs) Don't you love the way I phrase that hoping to (laughs) instead of just allowing. So I still had an intention for what I would have liked to have um, created in the week, but it wasn't to be. It wasn't to be. So there was another cycle coming through that was saying, no, 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 no. This is a letting go cycle. This is a surrendering. And That's what I ended up doing. And to the point where in the weekend just gone, I actually felt exhausted. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even talk to friends. I pulled right in and I knew that it's what my body needed energetically. And then I woke up today rejuvenated. It's a cycle. It is so important to honor those cycles. If you are wanting, really desiring, yearning for a soul-aligned business, a business that's aligned with your intuitive knowing, then those cycles must be surrendered to. They can't be controlled. And every day we are moving more profoundly into this way of being. And if we fight it, we will end up exhausted. We will not be able to function. So it really is a matter of honoring the cycle, of acknowledging the cycle. So that when you are down, when you feel depleted, when you cannot do what's on the to-do list, when you feel uninspired, to be with that, to not judge it, to not make it wrong, to be with it and think, well, I'm in a cycle. And this is the part of the cycle I'm in now. And this will swing around and change. It always does. It always does. You may not know the timing of that cycle, whether it's a great big long cycle or a little short hourly cycle. You do not know necessarily, but you know that it will change. I use this in business. I no longer get concerned if I go for a period of time without any income. It comes, it comes around. It's a cycle. (laughs) I have it, you know, I'll, I'll go a week, I'll go two weeks and there's no income coming in. But now I know that it's a cycle. And even if I get a little tweak of anxiety, I'm able to see it now. As soon as that tweak comes, I can see it and just stop myself and go, hang on, I've been here before. And every time I'm here, the income returns. And what I do now in those times is focus on all of the other ways that I'm receiving because there are many. It might be a great new connection I made for my business. It might be an inspiration, an idea I had during that time. It might be nothing to do with business. Perhaps I received some homegrown food from a friend. But in those weeks now, I can acknowledge this is the cycle of my business. My business isn't in this receiving cycle right now. So where else am I receiving? Because I know there'll be other cycles in my life where I am receiving right now. And another example in business is what happened to me last week, where the inspiration was not there for the creation that I was hoping to do. The energy wasn't there for it. I had made plans for my business based on that inspiration coming through last week. I had people in place this week to action that inspiration, but it didn't happen. And so I just got in touch and said, sorry, can we put this off to next week? And I'll wait and see and trust that the inspiration will come through for me this week 
even though it may not be the yin week, the time I'd scheduled for that, but I'm not black and white around that. (laughs) As I say, I'm working with the moon's cycles, but I'm also very aware that there are many other cycles within that. So what I'm really wanting to share with you in today's episode is to honor that there are cycles in business. Business isn't 24-7 action, okay, like we've been shown that it is in the past. It is an out-breath and an in-breath. And this is what the cycle is. And I love comparing it to the breath because when there's an out-breath, an in-breath has to follow. That's what allows life. So it's the same in your business. When there's an out-breath, an in-breath follows. But you must allow it. You can't fight it. Well, you can fight it. But fighting it does not allow for the fullness of the breath to come in. I know it's really hard to break this conditioning. This conditioning is very, very strong in our society and we carry that over into our business. But if you can just remind yourself, everything's a cycle, everything's a cycle. I feel like shit today, but everything is a cycle and this too will pass. And then with that, you can let go. And I think from my experience of the female entrepreneurs I've worked with, Letting go can be a very helpful thing sometimes. And if you'd like to have an experience of this letting go, of this yin time, if you'd like to give yourself a beautiful in-breath, then please join me for my Equinox Balance Retreat because this is what it's all about. I'm holding this retreat on the day of the Equinox This is about the cycle of the seasons. For some of us, it'll be the spring equinox. For some of us, it'll be the autumn equinox. But it doesn't matter because it is the balance. It is the balance of night and day, of dark and light, of yin and yang. So what a perfect time to bring our businesses into this space and learn more about those yin aspects of business. How can we bring more of the yin in to balance the cycle, to allow the cycle so that it's not a yang dominant cycle and we'll experience a meditation, an activation of this energy and you'll also receive an individual little personal reading. It'll be short depending on the numbers they're live, but that will be included to help guide you to this balance of the yin and yang in your life and business. So if you would love to have a couple of hours in breath on Monday, the 21st of March, you can go to my website, JacquelineAtkins.com. You'll see it on the homepage or else I'll put the direct link to the invitation page in the notes. It's $11. It lasts for two hours. There are two times to choose from. So it doesn't matter where in the world you are, one of those times will suit you. And if you can't be there live, you will get a replay within a few hours. So it's no problem. You can listen to it when it's the right time for you. I can't emphasize enough the importance of this beautiful balance and harmony between the yin and yang and how that supports you to create a business that's in full alignment with your truth and who you are, that allows more of your truth and who you are. This comes through this beautiful harmony. This comes through the honoring of the cycles. So this week, allow the cycles, allow it in your life, allow it in your business, observe it with the wisdom that you know it's a cycle, that it will change. Until next time, have an alchemical week in your biz. Thanks for listening to Biz Alchemy. I'm Jacqueline Atkins. If you'd love to know more about the energy of business, subscribe to my newsletter at JacquelineAtkins.com forward slash newsletter. And join me on Insight Timer, where I have a large meditation library and do regular live classes. Until next time, enjoy creating alchemy in your biz.